Point one, uh, Paul Hiley here, and I've been gone for a while. I can't remember when the, the last video I put up was, so I'm pretty sure it was a wee while ago. That's why I'm taking the time to do one up now. Now, as you can guess from the title of the video, you know what the video is going to be about, which is why people employ online coaches, personal trainers, uh, what can a personal trainer or an online coach or a face-to-face -face coach or whatever, I use the online example because that is what I am at the moment, I am an online coach, I don't have a gym to work out from, excuse me, as of yet, however I do have a little bit of setups and stuff and I train at home basically, I train at home at the moment because I can't afford a gym to rent or to be a member of, especially when I've got the gear I need at home to get strong, manage my weight and get fit, which are of course my three slogans, get strong, well it's get strong, lose weight, get fit, the lose weight bit should really be, I really should translate that to manage weight, but I've done a video about this before, uh, it's just get strong, manage weight, get fit, sounded a bit rubbish. So I thought I'll go with get strong, lose weight, get fit. It's quicker. Right, so anyway, getting to the point. What can personal trainers or coaches give you that you can't that you couldn't find out yourself? Well, without shooting myself in the foot here, nothing, really. We learn uh, from the Qualifications I've obtained as a gym instructor and a strength coach. I was given all the information that I needed. I successfully completed all the course, all, all the information. I didn't fail anything. And I now have the knowledge to help you achieve the three selling points that I mentioned. Strength for me is the focus. However, I've done more videos on this, but I want to keep myself within a weight category where I can also maintain my health and my fit, well, maintain my fitness standards. So, you can, by all means, go to your local library, if there's any left anymore. You can go search online. You can get all the information and... Uh, read a bit here read a bit there if, if you like your reading it'll be, it'll be good fun for you but essentially you could spend i mean assuming it doesn't all come in a straight big chapter to essentially you could spend let's let's say a month let's say you could spend a month doing things learning all the right things that you want learning the right information in the right space of time for not just for your fitness but then for your diet as well because you are what you eat so <laughs> if you're eating rubbish food it's going to be detrimental to however many hours you're doing in the gym so you're going to need to read up all your information set up how to set up a program right if I'm going to be need wanting to be lifting if I lift this many times a week, uh, is this enough for my goals, or am I going to need, or could I get away with lifting less? Should I really be lifting more? Should I be lifting too heavy? Should I be lifting too light? All the bits and pieces that go up with building together a uh, a program, if you like, a fitness program, and then there's the dietary side of it, and. Uh, I mean, everyone can just say, you know, eat five five a day of fruit and veg, and lots of protein, not so much fats, loads of carb, and it, it, it it's confusing because that is the way it's sold to you. What you have to do is you have to sit down, go through the different uh, uh, source materials, and read them all through so that you get how to set up a healthily balanced diet 
which is going to assist your goals physically. And yeah, you, you can you can read all of this out. You can find it all out. What coaches do is we are walking around with all this information already there because we already know it. We've, we've gone away. We've done our courses. We, with our blind, we know what we're talking about. We know what we're talking about straight away. Straight away, we know what we're talking about. You give us a, you know, you... You contact, you know, you, you sit down, you talk with a qualified strength coach. Uh, I want to get stronger. What should I be doing? Boom. And if he and if he or she just says, well, you just want to be, got to keep lifting heavy, ain't you? Keep lifting heavy. Keep lifting hef, lift heavy, eat loads, you'll get stronger. They might be talking out of their backside a little bit, just a little bit. So, yeah, so I think personally, that is why people do it. I mean, yeah, OK, I've never had a strength coach. I've never had a personal trainer. I started lifting when I was very young. I was about 13 when I started lifting. I was lifting purely for aesthetics. And that was pretty much all that I was interested in for uh, probably my first nearly, I'd say for about a decade or so. It wasn't until I was thinking to myself, I've been lifting the same the same weight for this amount of years, and technically I'm weak. <laughs> so that is when I learned, looked into more into other methods of training. Uh, the diet's always been a slight side back for me. I will always admit that. But I started looking into the diet more seriously. And obviously now I've got the qualifications so that uh, I know what I know. I know, which is why I can honestly say that even now my diet is the one that lets me down. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I just like the wrong food. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. What it is, it, it, it's work. I'm not going to lie at all. It is work. I do have a full-time job, which... The hours of which messes up with my rest time and messes up with my diet. Because say you were this is this is this is the worst case scenario. Say you're working this is I'm doing this tomorrow. Say you have got a twelve and a half hour shift and you only have two breaks. You only have two twenty minute breaks. So somehow you're gonna have to fit in your substantial meals within those two 20 minute gaps so that is why that is why my that's why my diet isn't always on point on a day when i'm off work on a good day i can actually i can get my diet in but again what you don't want to do is have a diet where you're juggling so one day i'll eat really good really clean all of my bits and bobs in and the next day well i'm only gonna have about two 20 minute sections to sit down over the next 12 and a half hours so you know so i have to be i have to be realistic about what i can do within a day so that i do have an average sort of um i have an average diet you know what i'll eat throughout an average day and then when i'm off Try not to get too carried away with the fact that I haven't got work so I can feel like I can technically eat more. It's difficult. And these are the... the <laughs> this is where this is where it, it helps to have the uh, education uh, behind me to know what I can do to keep my uh, diet in place. Resting. Whether, I said, this is where the resting issue comes in. Because you've got to eat got to train and you've got to rest now obviously if you if you're working a 12 and a half you're working for 12 and a half hours and you're on your feet you ain't getting any rest in i've nearly fallen asleep on one of my 20 minute breaks midway through a 12 and a half hour day you don't get you can't get the rest in it's impossible so i know that my rest does 
hold me back a wee bit, what do I do? I make sure I don't go to bed crazy late. I, I make sure I go to bed with enough time to get enough sleep that my body needs to have me charged for the next day. How do you find that out? Your body tells you. Your best bet really would be to pick a day when you haven't pick a day when you haven't got work the next day. So say to yourself, right, I'm gonna go to bed at say this time. Um, I'll see what time I wake up. Or you can set an alarm. Set an alarm where you've had, you know because obviously when they, everyone says, oh, I'll get eight hours of sleep a day. I don't personally know. I can't remember when I've had eight hours sleep a night. But again, that's just me. And your body will tell you what it is capable of. Your body will tell you what it needs. Right? But I'm not going to give away any more free stuff. There's thousands of channels on YouTube that will give you thousands of ideas on how to do everything here. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to give it away anything else for free. In answer to the question is... Do you need an online coach? I would say it depends on you. Depends on your finances. None of us are free. None of us are free. Some online coaches will be cheaper than others. Some will be more expensive than others. Same with personal trainers. Some will, some will charge a higher rate. Some will charge a lower rate. If you're a member of, if you join a gym, there'll be the gym instructors. And in fairness to them, they only get paid, they get paid by the club or the gym. They do not get paid by you, so they're on a separate rate, which is a different thing. So yeah, I think so it boils down to whether you can A, afford it financially. Uh, B, if you need one. If you need one. You know, like I say, by all means, do, do you... If you want to do, if you want to do your own research, if you think you, if you think to yourself, do you know what? I got enough time to kill. I'm not going to straight away just go take this advice. I'm going to do like he suggested, and I'm going to read up on it. I'm a pretty quick reader. I can take knowledge in quickly. Won't probably won't take me a month. I'll read a bit every day on this, 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 this. I'll put it together myself, and I'll give it a go. And that's fine. That's perfectly perfectly fine loads of people don't like that i've done it like that uh and for a lot of people it works where it might you might reach a point when it doesn't work which is when you might start asking yourself well what should i do from here that is when you could probably possibly you could ask or you could just ask some mates down at the gym if you go to the gym if you go if you don't train at home like i do and you go to a gym to train then you can of course you can ask for more help and advice from all the people over there without possibly having to pay so that would be the budgeted way the best way of doing it uh, like i say really coaches are there if you want them if you want the knowledge quickly or quicker than having to do all of this that is when it's a good time to go to a coach be it me please be me I'm joking. Or be whoever else. It is hard to it's hard to it's hard to trust strangers who are essentially asking for your money. Which is all that's what we it's what coaches are doing. It's not just me, but that is essentially what we're doing. We're trying what am I trying? I'm trying to earn money or make a career. That I ideally I want my I want to make a career through Strength and fitness, you know, it's my passion. That in music, that in music. So, um, so yeah. If you feel you need a coach, by all means, look through them. If you're more comfortable with an online coach, look through them first. If you'd rather join a gym and take it from there, you can do that. But yeah, what it really boils down to is you'll know. You are listening to your own mind. So a, a lot of time, this does mean putting your ego to one side. Because in your mind, you you may well think well, we all did it. 
you know, I was a kid of the eighties. We were brought up on action movies. We all we, we all thought we knew the lot. But you might not know. And that exercise that you think you can do perfectly well because you know how to execute it, you might not know how to do it. And that is where it is nice to have a coach. Also, it's nice to have someone you can be accountable to. You know, or someone you can report your fitness back to. If someone's following you personally on your journey and they're giving you advice and then they're checking in with you once a week to see how you are progressing, then you're getting the feedback that you need. So really and truly, whether or not you need a coach, you're going to know. You're going to know if you need a coach or not. It's really there. I mean, obviously, coaches are mainly there if you have no idea. If you have no idea where to go, then it could be worth at least getting in touch. At least getting in touch. I won't take any money off anyone until they've actually got in touch with me and we've had a chance to, like, through emails, build up a rapport. You'll get to, you'll get to know if you like the idea of working with me or if there's something about me you're not too sure about that's fine that's fine essentially unless i know you personally we are strangers and an online the same that's the thing with online coaches even face to face coaches you don't know these people unless you know them they are strangers and then it's all boils down to gut feeling about someone First impressions about someone, whether you think someone is talking from the heart, whether you think someone's talking out of somewhere else. You learn by through that way, through that way, making a job. I mean, I, I'm not going to charge anyone to email me and ask me some questions. You know, I would expect that. I would expect people to contact me and ask me questions before they consider either purchasing one of my programs that's already on my website or if they want to take the bigger step and which is to go with the um the 12 week uh, one to one coaching option and the thing about that is the thing about that one with me i if i have a client who's like for 12, a 12 follows me a 12 week program one to one at the end of that program what would be ideal for me is for that client to be able to essentially walk away with all the knowledge they need to continue their journey that said if they want to stay with me that's fine Obviously, financially, much more beneficial to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but a good coach won't just give someone a, back, a 12-week backup. A 12-week backup. Each week, each through each email, through each contact, you should be giving your client the information they need which is going to help them to progress, not just for 12 weeks, but for the future of their lifting or their fitness, health, diet journey. After 12 weeks, people shouldn't, people, after 12 weeks of me, you'll know. After 12 weeks of me, without sounding arrogant, you will know. You will know what you have needed to do to achieve your goals and you will know what to do to take your goals further. Yes, of course, I'd like, again, repetitive, but, you know, if nothing else, I'm honest. Sometimes it's my, my, my worst fault is my honesty a lot of the times. Because if I wasn't so honest, I'd be saying, oh, no, no, keep every, every 12 weeks you, you should, you know, 
buy another 12 weeks of my one-to-one -one time. Every 12 weeks, buy another 12 weeks. I mean, if you want it, yeah, that would be great. For me and for you, anyone who I take on, anyone who I have trained, I have wanted to see them get their goals. I've wanted to see them progress. Always. Always. Because client is what is important. Or who, without sounding a bit quite nasty. But yeah, the client is important. The client pays the coaches. You know, coaches would get no money if they didn't charge the clients. And if the clients didn't trust the coaches, they wouldn't pay them any money. So, yeah, so this is just a quick sort of like, well, it's not quick, gone off for nearly 20 minutes. But this is sort of like a, it's a long way around the angles of saying why people may employ the services of coaches and trainers and yeah that's the lot that is the lot i hope you've enjoyed the video i can only apologize for the uh delay um again that job i told you about not all my shifts are 12 and a half hours but at least two of them are sometimes three it takes a chunk <laughs> <laughs> takes a chunk out of the soul every day so anyway i gotta shoot but uh yeah there we go that's my that's the little tip on whether or not people would want to employ a coach why would they want to and i've just about given a rundown on it right well do hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video Check over the website www.paulhighlylifts.co.uk and as I always leave you, keep strong, keep happy and keep healthy. Ta-da.